Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, let me just apologise that I've not uploaded in about three weeks. Um, there's just been things going on um, that, and I haven't been able to find the time to create videos and upload and for that I am really really sorry and I've missed you all so much but here I am back um, hoping to make more videos very soon. Um, so I thought I would, you know, kick it off with this summer sort of inspired look that I have been loving while the weather's been warm and just giving me that extra boost of confidence. So if you want to see how I created this look then stay tuned. So I'm going to start off with using primer and for primer I'm using the NYX Pore Filler, just this one here. So I'm just going to pop that on and this is such a weird primer, like it's just like the fluffiest messiest primer that I've ever came across like you squeeze it and it honestly just goes everywhere like it just flies off everywhere and I don't really know why it's like this but it's such a good primer for just giving that smooth textured sort of base I think now we're having like a heat wave here in like England I think it's pretty important to use a primer just to keep makeup on longer you know because it's gonna be like dripping down our face with the heat so for foundation I'm gonna be using the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear this one here I never know how to pronounce it but it is my favorite go-to foundation and this is a brand new bottle so I'm gonna have to give it a few pumps there we go before it comes out and I'm just gonna put this all over my face Although I do feel like <laughs> I've got a bit of a tan, so this might be a little bit too pale for me right now. But it's okay, we're just gonna have to bronze it up. The only thing with like the UK, or well, it's probably me more than the UK, is that we don't get that much sun, so I don't really tan. So I don't tend to buy like different foundations to match like the colour of my tan because I never really have to because you don't really have that much sun but it has been absolutely boiling for the past few days and I'm just like a hot mess with all the different colours that I am like my arms are one colour my legs are another colour my face is another colour I'm honestly like a patchwork quilt but I can't complain because I'm loving the sun and it just makes me super super happy like everything is just better when it's sunny I mean apart from like sweating your tits off but like it just puts me well me it just puts me in such a better mood that will do for foundation because yeah I am looking quite pale compared to my body so next I'm gonna move on to concealer and for concealer I'm gonna use the fit me Maybelline just this one here and I'm just gonna pop just a tiny bit under my eyes just to brighten them up a little bit although I don't need that much with me being pretty pale already in the facial area and just blend that in oh wow I'm looking super super ghost like yeah I think I definitely need to like get a different foundation a darker one for days like this god damn okay so powder I'm using the Rimmel stay matte powder in transparent just this one here and I'm gonna put it a lot on my face today like I said just with it being hot and anything extra that makeup on our face and not slide off So I'm desperately going to move on to bronzer because we need it. So obviously you probably already know before I pick it up that I'm going to be using the Revolution Iconic Lights and Contour Pro Palette. This one here. I don't use anything else. Although I really should because damn this is like falling to bits. 
I'm so scruffy. So for today, I'm not gonna be using the usual shade, which is this one here, because as you can see, it's pretty much gone. I'm using this one here, which I think is probably the next best one, you know, in terms of like warming up my face, because that's what we need. So I'm just gonna swirl that in, dab it off and apply that to my face. Okay. As you can see, a little goes a long way when you first start to use this because that is a hell of a lot. I think I'm just going to go onto the forehead just to even the tone out. And on the jaw, I mean, these things I don't really tend to do if you watch my videos, but I mean, I'm looking that pale that it really helps, do you know what I mean? And I think I'm just going to take another brush and kind of blend that in a bit more just to get rid of that harsh line there we go I look relatively alive now which is always good okay so next I'm gonna move on to eyeshadow and for this summer look I think I'm going to go for like a gold inspired sort of eye. Don't know why, no particular reason. I just feel like, you know, it's sunny. Get a bit of gold in there, a bit of shimmer. Just for that extra sparkle. So, I'm just going to take an empty kit flat brush, just like this. And I'm taking the Obsession Makeup London palette. And to start off with, I'm going to take this gold shimmer shade and it is called safe word just this one here and just put that on my lids i'll try and move a little bit closer for you guys, so you can see oh damn i'm like melting in here i know you're all probably thinking how long you've got to find in the background but it's far too noisy and you probably wouldn't even be able to hear me speak so i'm just gonna you know sacrifice my dryness and be all sweaty for you guys because that's just the type of person i am i'm never consistent with how i do my eye makeup like one time i would like do a whole eye complete its makeup and then move on to the other eye or sometimes I'll just do what I'm doing now and just kind of go in between just you know whatever whatever I feel like doing or sometimes it's kind of just like automatic and I just jump onto the next eye without even finishing the first eye but it's gonna get done so it's fine I think next for like the crease I'm gonna take this it's like a warm um, like in between a warm and a cool brown and it's this shade dealer here it's that one there and I'm just gonna put that in my crease and just start to build up the definition and that's starting to build up as you can see I think I do an eyeshadow is like my favorite part of makeup I don't know why I think it's like the part where you can be the most creative. Not that I'm like the most creative person ever, but I do try. Okay, so next I think I'm gonna take... Hmm, what should I do? I think I'm gonna take the shade Frappe, just this dark brown here, and put it on the inner corner and outer corners of my eyes, just to start to build up that block of color. And then I think, I mean, I know this is like a summer sort of vibe, but I think I'm just going to take this black shade in blackmail and again, just pop a tiny, tiny little smidge in the inner corner and outer corner just to give it a bit more of a smoky effect. But I'm literally taking the smallest amount and just packing that on and 
giving it a blend. And then I'm just going to take again that gold shade and just put a bit more on my lid because it's kind of disappeared, hasn't it? And I'm just putting that more in the centre of my eyelid. And there we have it. I think that looks not too bad, not too shabby. It'll do. And I'm just going to clean up my under eye with the concealer brush just to get away any excess. And make it a bit sharper. There we go. So, eyeshadow out of the way. I think I'm going to move on to eyeliner now. And of course, you all know what eyeliner I'll be using. It's my collection felt liner. And I'm just going to do a simple wing. I need some sort of personal fan assistant that's just going to stand there and blow me with a fan because it's hot in here. There we go. Next, I'm going to be using mascara. And the mascara I'm using is the Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara in Waterproof. This is a brand new tube. I'm so happy I've got my hands on this again because it's just one of the most amazing mascaras that has ever been created. I mean, I'm sure you all agree that this is like up there with the best. I don't know what it is about it, but it just makes your eyelashes so much longer, so much to find, so much volume. It does everything. Everything that you want. I mean, look at the difference. That's just insane. And there we go. Ashes completed. So next I'm going to move on to eyebrows. And for eyebrows, I'm using a another brand new product um, it is the Maybelline Brow Satin and I know you know that I've used this before but it went out and this is a new one and it's just so much more satisfying using a brand new product I don't know what it is but it's just so much more smoother and sharper and everything just goes better so I'm going to do my brows first I'm gonna give them a quick brush through There we go. And as you know, I'm not the best eyebrows, but I've learned that the trick is the steadier and softer the hand, the better they kind of turn out instead of like going sort of heavy. Um, so just like strokes is, is what I've learned, which I'm, you are, all probably know this anyway. And I'm just like the last person to figure it out. There we go. And then for the front bit, I'm just going to use the little sponge that's on the other side of the product just to give in, put a little powder in there and give it that faded effect. And again, light strokes. It's not the same, but no problem. Finally, to complete our summer look, I'm going to move on to lipstick. And for lipstick, I'm going to be using this. Uh, what is it? Lord and Berry Crayon Lipstick in the number 20100 and I think the name is Fire and it's just this red shade here which I absolutely love. This is one of my all time favourite red shades. It is just like, it's quite orangey undertoned but not too much as where it's too bright and too orangey. It's perfect for me anyway. I've already put some Vaseline on my lips just to give it a bit of moisture. And 
And for some reason, this smells absolutely amazing. See what I mean? It's just like it stands out so much. I just love it. So, ladies and gents, sort this heap of crap, which is my hair. And this is the finished look. I really, really enjoy this look. And it's just, I think it's the contrast between the lips and the eyes that I kind of love. And just, like I said, the sun in general just makes me so happy so i hope you have all enjoyed this video um like i said i'm sorry that i haven't uploaded for a while um but i'm hoping to get back into the swing of things and get the channel rolling again hopefully um so let me know if there's any videos that you want to see from me um i'm thinking about possibly doing a q a because i've never done one before so if you have any questions that you would like me to answer then leave them in the comments below Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe if you are not. Um, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.